we are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. to the safe zone, and sit tight there. We're doing it right now! Stefan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir! Great. Let's go! Damn, we've been pounding this place. Worse than Moscow. Yeah, looks like it. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. Lucky. Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. <laughs> Good. Never. Over or not. Look at all those cars. Artyom was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. Oh, no, 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 I don't know what to say. This is a bad place. Now, we shouldn't have come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee and red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see? Nobody home. How about we go back? Huh? Поехали. Look!
Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. See, we're expected. I never like going on the ground, but this place, well, this is completely creeping me out. Why is it so deserted here? No gun emplacements, no patrols, not even lookouts. Why would they need any of that? A nuclear warhead couldn't take it out. Prepare a speech. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an all nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? going as planned. <coughs> Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. 
Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get jaundiced like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. Untie my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them! Watch your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! Not a single. So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime... I'll excuse you beast. myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But oh, I'll get you now! Long Burn this time! To oh, ashes! Long time Not since the war arrived! Now we'll be full again! Good. Artyom! Remains! Here. Colonel, sir. I think that's Thank enough. You, sir. But it is not. We have to get them. But first, we must find Anna. I'm sorry. I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Idiot! Start the main elevator up! Yes, sir. Well done. We can hold up from that one. Right this way. I got a treat for you here, you damn freaks. In the left, motherfuckers. D6. Even the lift is the same exactly. True. And quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. 
So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay.
did you shoot them? What the fuck? Please, it is tasty meat here! They can kill me too like this!
Artyom, I knew! Behind you! Ah! There is always one like you! A hero! You are not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just freeze! Yes, yes! Th Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now. Uh, remember what I told you! There was an ex- Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Anna, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that's Celentius with his damned fanatics. <sighs> but no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. But these... All right, but what do we do Probably now? Probably damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs... All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian 1, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker I now? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision <laughs> together. Hate to interrupt, but it's getting quite hot in here. Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't? You're right, of course. But you can't do it forever. <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time of what is allotted to me. With that guy over there. I'll throw my dash to him.
idea. I just wanted to finish the prop so I didn't have to carry it back. Looks like this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. Oh, to think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn, then! <coughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs 